Well, we've been wondering for a while who the big DCU villain could be, and it seems like James Gunn might have given us a huge tease. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about which villain he recently teased on social media, why this will be huge on the big screen, and absolutely one of the most powerful comic book villains in all of history. As well as a little funny, let's dive in. Now before we do that though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and ring the bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos, and we want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently, so you are in the know. Well, ever since James Gunn took up the lead seat at DC Studios and gave us a peek into Chapter 1 Gods and Monsters, well, many of us have been wondering who the really big baddie is. Most of us are pretty sure it's not going to be Darkseid, and now it appears James Gunn might be teasing who the big villain of the DCU is going to be. Now, Gunn is super busy. Not only is he currently helming Superman, but he also just made it really clear they're kicking off production of the second season of Peacemaker, and not only is he directing a feature film, but he's also going to be directing a couple of episodes of that series. Now, one of the best things about Gunn is how he keeps us all updated on various social media platforms. And if you've been following him since he took over the DCU, well, you know he rarely posts without reason. For example, that new Superman logo? Very early on, James Gunn dropped a lot of Kingdom Come pictures, and that's the exact logo that we got. So most of these posts really do have some sort of deeper meaning. Now recently, Gunn dropped another picture to his Threads account, and quite honestly, it caught me off guard and would create some spectacularly interesting stories in this new universe. Let's check it out. Yes, that is Mr. Mixiel Picklick with Gunn captioning a picture, Say My Name. Now, if you're a fan of Mr. Mixiel Picklick, or as we like to call him here, Mixie, well, he's a great villain who's been portrayed by multiple people and is from the fifth dimension with reality-altering powers. Nobody could change the landscape of the DC Universe faster than this villain. And honestly, in the library of DC villains, I think Mixie could have synergy with James Gunn in a way that would be completely unprecedented. Now, Mr. Mixio Plictic is one of Superman's oldest villains, making his first appearance way back in Superman 30 in 1944. As we said, he is from the Fifth Dimension, and has near unprecedented reality warping powers who, in the comics and in several forms of animation, has made Superman's life absolutely miserable. Quite honestly, my favorite version of the character is the Gilbert Godfrey version from the animated series. He was born to play that voice. Obviously, he can't play the character again, but I really do hope we get a very similar version. Now, where he makes his first appearance, well, that is the big question. And some people seem to be thinking he could very well be facing off with Christopher Smith, aka Peacemaker, in the upcoming season. This would create quite the dynamic, and Gunn made it really, really clear that when Season 2 kicked off, it wouldn't be a necessary continuation of Season 1, but he would explain why, and his reality warping powers could be precisely the reason. I don't know if Peacemaker has what it takes to get him to say or spell his name backwards in order to send him back to the fifth dimension, but Superman has indeed been able to take him down several times in the past, and I don't think this villain will be a one and done, but could very well be the ongoing antagonist throughout the larger story. Superman is set to drop in theaters on July the 11th, so if he is indeed the upcoming big baddie or associated with this movie, I do think we'll get some more clues before then, but honestly guys, he is an awesome villain. Hopefully we get some confirmation soon. No matter what he appears in, I'm super excited. And the big question for me, who will play the character? Sound off in the comments below. 